Hey, thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. For those of you who have been following my channel for a while now, you know that I love to do art journaling and I absolutely adore making paper dolls to add to my art journal pages. And I've created some paper doll kits. There's a link in the description box below where you can find them and check them out. And it's called Justine's Paper Doll Adventures. So this current adventure is Slumber Party. So as always, you need to start with the base. The base kit is something that you purchase first and then you add to it with different collections. So you can take Justine and her friends on different adventures such as becoming a mermaid or being a fairy. This time uh, she's having a slumber party with her friends. So you start with this and that gives you the bodies, the arms, the legs, and and then you dress them up with the collections. So in this one, there are some really cute pajamas and nighties and a cute t-shirt and some fun snacks, slippers, uh, socks with toes. I don't know if you guys remember those uh, toe socks. They were like knee socks that were always colorful stripes and the toes were colored too. And they were separated between your toes. We always had those when we went to our slumber parties that was the big thing so I'm gonna get started and do a an art journal page and I'm gonna create it with several different girls I think I'll make you know three or four of the Justine paper dolls so I'll make her and her friends for the slumber party it also has um, sleeping bags so there is a rolled one a pillow two different kinds of sleeping bags and a bean bag chair and all the kits always come in black and white or colored the way I colored them. So you get black and white or colored. That way you can print this out and you can use it um, and color it any way that you'd like or cut this out of scrapbooking scrap paper to make it a pattern dress, whatever you want. Or you could use uh, pattern paper on the pillows, which would be really cute like um, sheets, you know, that have cute floral designs and such. So you can do all kinds of things with this by printing it onto your own paper. I suggest heavy duty cardstock, um, 120 pound or better. It makes a nicer paper doll because it's nice and stiff. Um, I just print on an inkjet printer. I've never had a problem. I only load one sheet of 120 or 140 pound cardstock into my printer at a time and I've never had a problem printing and I've never had a problem with them smearing when I go to color them. So you print it out first, that's your first step. Then of course you're gonna have to cut everything out, uh, fussy cut everything out, trim it out, and then you start putting it together. And I'm gonna give you some cute and fun different ideas for decorating these girls. And another collection that I have are the face-ups and I think I've shown those just recently where there are 16 different faces and 16 different hairstyles and these would be super fun with this collection. Um, you do get two different hairstyles that go with this one um, and then slippers and things for their feet but um, this one I think would be really fun to use uh, the space buns, the space buns isn't on this one, the space buns is on the original, um, the first hairstyle collection that I did, so you can check that out too. I'll put all the links in the description box and you can just play and go have fun and look at what all is available. But these girls would be super cute to be friends of Justine's at the slumber party. So I think I might use a side ponytail, maybe the side girl's face, pick out some cute faces. I'm not quite sure yet what I'm gonna come up with, but let's get started and see where it takes me. And you can always change these up. I've created these so that you can make them your own, uh, do some different things with them, use different art supplies, whatever you have on hand to really jazz them up and make them a lot of fun and make them your own. So with these collections, they all, fit that base kit girl. So no matter what, the outfits will fit on the base girls. What I like to do on this, like here are these cute shorts and they're already pink polka dot, but I'm gonna take a Posca pen in pink. It's kind of a bright pink. And I'm gonna go in and bump up the color of those polka dots. And this is just, this is where I say you can take your creativity to the next level. So why don't you, um, if you don't want them to be polka dots, you could make them flowers 
and they don't need to be bumped up. The only reason I'm doing this is just because I love to add pops of color and make things look more dimensional and even more fun. So just by adding some paint band paint, it made it even brighter and made it come to life. But since the t-shirt is yellow, I could also come in here too with a yellow Posca and go around these little dots and make them into little flowers. So this is what I mean. You can add your own creativity and jazz it up and use it. So you can print them once you um, purchase them. You download the file and you can print that file as many times as you want. So you could create lots and lots of different looks by changing it up. Make things have um, stripes or different patterns. Use pattern paper and use this as a, just a template and then cut this out of pattern paper. Look how cute that is to make that into little flowers and now it really matches that t-shirt. I like the pink polka dot but the pink flowers look or the yellow flowers look cute too. So that's just an example of bumping it up and changing it. So I've cut out the hairstyle that has the rag ribbons um, and those were like making rag curls. I don't know if you remember that. that and it's come back popular again for heatless curls that you wrap up your hair in rag ribbons and then tie them and then in the morning when you take them out you have beautiful curls so that's what I'm doing on this one is putting the rag ribbons when we were young and we did slumber parties we always wrapped each other's hair up and loved doing our little rag curls so I'm gonna glue that into place I cut it out and then I went around the edge with a brush pen to get rid of the white line edges and I'm going to glue it into place and then I have an idea. So she looks super cute in her little rag ribbon curls hairstyle and what I'm going to do now is take this super fine it is three millimeter ribbon and I'm going to just cut it into pieces and tie a knot not kind of loose because I want it to have that knot that really popped up knot look and I'm going to glue one on to her hairstyle just to make a nice little three-dimensional look these are already this is what they already look like on the hairstyle but I think gluing a ribbon one on would be just darling so I'm going to add a couple of ribbon ones to it. So I just glued that in place with some art glitter glue and instead of having it sticking straight up I wrapped the back the top part of it down to the back side so it's like hanging. So look how cute that is. I put a couple of ribbons and it just added to the drawn ribbon. So I love this rag ribbon look. Really cute. So now I'm going to cut out the t-shirt and little puff bottoms. So for the legs, I chose straight legs and I'm not putting them on with brads this time. I'm just gluing them in place and I just kind of put the legs in the position I want and glued them on onto the back. Now for the arm, I'm doing one straight and then I'm going to do one that's movable bent and it, it they're both going to be movable. So what I want to do is take this top part, the sleeve of the t-shirt and glue it to the top part of this arm. And just glue it in place. Now for the upper arm you do the same thing. Just glue that, put some glue up at the top and glue that sleeve into place on that top part of the arm. And then you're going to want to glue the t-shirt onto the body And if you come across things like this where there's just a tiny bit of hangover 
from what's below it just trim it off it's probably just from um, printing where your computer resizes it a little bit for printing and that's not a big deal so you just trim it to make sure that it fits right just like that and now I'm going to take my paper piercer pierce holes and pierce it through the sleeve and the body and then put brads in place in yellow to put those arms onto the body so here she is put together and I used yellow mini brads for uh, her sh her arms up at the sleeves and a micro mini little brass one for her uh, elbow so she's got movable arms one is straight can go in front it can go in behind and one is movable so I can put something in her hand and for her feet I'm gonna do the little bunny slippers and what I'm gonna do with those I'm gonna use a colored pencil to bump up the pink inside the ears on my printer it, that part didn't come out very colorful so I'm just gonna bump it up a little bit add a little more pink maybe put a little pink around the cheeks just for cute and then what I'm going to do, my idea for these cute slippers, is to add some white flock to make them fuzzy. So I'm going to take my art glitter glue with my little micro tip applicator and go over these slippers, not covering the face. I'm going to kind of go around that face. It doesn't have to be perfect because you want it to look fuzzy. Okay. And now I'm going to take some white flock. So flock is like little tiny fibers. And it comes in all different colors. And it's really micro fine little, little fluffy fibers. So you can make things look like they're snow or... Just add some color and texture, but this is going to make these little slippers look like little fuzzy slippers. It's going to be super, super cute. I just want to be sure I got it where I want it. And then if there's some, like I don't want it covering the eyes and making sure that it's not on the eyes. So now I have some cute little fuzzy slippers and I'm going to cut those out. So you want to make sure that the flock is dry before you cut out your little slipper and then you're just going to put glue and put it in place. Look how cute that is. Oh my gosh, it's super cute. So look at that cute little slipper. Now I'm using the um, pajamas, the striped pajamas. And when you assemble this, you can either put the pajamas over the top so you see the drawstring and have it kind of tucked in, or you can put it underneath. So you get to choose how you put that together. And then I'll show you how to make a shorty set using the black and white one as a template. So I glued the sleeve to this arm. It's ready to put on the body. For this one, for the movable arm, what you want to do is to use your paper piercer and poke your holes and put your brad to assemble the bottom part of the arm, the lower part of the arm, to the topper to the upper part like that and then you're going to glue this part to the upper part but you're only going to glue it on the top half since the sleeve is kind of longer what that'll do is the sleeve will still allow for this arm to be movable see how that is and now you poke your holes into the body and attach the arms to the body. 
So here's what this girl looks like. I use the French braids. She's got a movable arm. She's holding the bag of M&Ms. This arm moves and it can go in the front or to the side. I used the feet, the bare feet from the fairy collection and that's how she looks in her jammies. I think she looks so cute. I love it. So I can add some, um, I think I'm going to use some embroidery floss and tie some little bows around her at the end of her braids. So here are two slumber party girls so far and now let's make another one. So if you want to make a pair of pajamas that are short pajamas instead of being long to the ankle, what you'd want to do is trim out the cuffs all in one piece and then just figure out where you want them to be on the pants, how long you want the pants to be. You're going to cut the pants off and you're going to glue the cuffs right to that level and then you can add them to your doll. So that's another way of using the pajama set and making it different. You can also use the pajama top and use it with these cute little shorts. So those two would go together cute. And you can color it any way you want so they could be a set and it would look really, really cute. If you didn't want to use the t-shirt, you could use the pajama top and the bottoms. You also could use the button down part and the sleeves from the t-shirt instead of the longer sleeves with cuffs. So it's really interchangeable and you can change it up and make all different sleepwear outfits. So I cut off the long pajamas and made them into short ones and made little shorter cuffs for them so I can glue those cuffs on and it'll be a shorter pajama set. I'm going to use the button down part of the shirt and the t-shirt sleeves to make a short sleeve um, pajama top. And what I'm going to do to color them is to use my Caran d'Ache Neo Color 2 crayons and a water brush. So I'm just going to tip the color off the water brush and do a base color of purple. And then I have a really fun idea for how to decorate this. And you could also cut this out of pattern paper. So you could just you cut this out as a template and put it down on a piece of pattern paper and draw around it and cut it out and you would have a really cute pattern paper pair of pajamas. So there's so many versatile ways that you can use these three outfits and make them totally different. So I've let that dry. I colored it with my Neocolor 2 color crayons and a water brush and I've let it completely dry. Next I'm going to use some um, Brilliant Blue pigment ink, but any ink would work. Dye ink would be better. Pigment ink you either have to heat set it or use embossing powder with it, but I really like this color. And I have these two rubber stamps that are minis. These are like super tiny mini stamps. So what I'm going to do is add some interest to these jammies with rubber stamps. Just adding some pattern and that's why I hadn't cut them out yet because if you leave it put on you can stamp off the pattern like material would be and I just think that looks kind of neat. And this is just going to make a really cute little print. Super cute. Look at those cute jammies that made. Super cute. So now I just need to cut them out and assemble them and glue them to the body. So this just gives you another idea of some other way that you can decorate your um, pajamas in the set and make them different so that you can end up with tons and tons of different girls at your slumber party. So um, you could use pattern paper, you could use mini rubber stamps, you could doodle with with little fine point pens. You can just paint them, color them, use colored pencils, use anything you want on them and just jazz them up and make them fun and interesting. I added the cute toe socks to this one and put together her little 
jammies. I still need to put her arms on. I'm using the space buns from the hair collection and I took the black and white one and I colored it hot pink. She's going to have hot pink hair. How cute is that? So now I just need to put her arms on. And this is why I've designed all these collections to be interchangeable like this because once you purchase it then you've got it to use over and over again and it's endless what you can create and the color of the hairstyle, the style of the hairstyle, all the outfits and the hair and everything in every collection is interchangeable. And my final girl, I put the little nightgown on her. I added a little bow with embroidery floss. I used one of the face-ups from the face-ups collections. I made both of her arms movable. She's holding a piece of pizza. Her legs are movable. I did the same uh, flock trick on those little slippers and put little embroidery floss bows so her little slippers match her nightgown. I think she is just darling. She turned out so cute. So here are my girls. Um, my Space Buns girl. I put glitter on the cupcake she's holding and I cut out one of the bows, added the bows to her outfit. So that's what she looks like. And then my girl with her ribbon curls, no boys allowed, a hairbrush, and bunny slippers. And then the last one, the girl with braids. She's got her hair French braided and cute jammies, the long jammies, bare feet, and a bag of M&Ms. So they are ready to have their slumber party and now I'm going to create an art journal background and put them on the art journal page. But I'm starting to put some of my paper dolls into a different type of journal so I'm doing loose pages. So I'm going to go ahead and do a background and I think for this one I'm going to make, make it sort of look like a room possibly. So I'm just going to draw lines like a corner of a room and then straight up like that so see how now that looks like a corner in a bedroom and I like how they look so I'm going to go ahead and do them in ink I use um, Tombow mono liner pen because it is waterproof you can use just about any medium and it won't smear so I'm just going to draw my lines and kind of create that look like it's in a room and then I'm just going to paint the walls and the floor just with acrylic paint using a baby wipe so I'm just applying the paint and directly to the page and then I'm just using a baby wipe to spread it out. This is nothing new or too terribly exciting but it easily just quickly colors my my page and I'm not worried about them being exciting because there's going to be so much other stuff on here that it will fill it up. And now I'm going to do the walls. So there's my simple room, not anything too terribly exciting, but now I'm going to go ahead and cut out the sleeping bags and beanbag chair. So I just used art glitter glue and I glued my sleeping bags into place, this one leaning up against the wall, the beanbag chair, kind of tried to just uh, get them on the page and as spaced out as much as I can. And then I'm going to add my girls to it. May not be room for four, it may be too crowded. Actually, I think I kind of like it crowded because it's kind of cute. <coughs> so, I'm going to figure out where I want to put them and I'm going to glue them into place, not gluing down the movable parts so that those parts can still be movable, and then add the little embellishmenty things like the popcorn bowl and 
uh, things like that and then uh, something in the background and then put words on the page and I'll come back and show you my completed page here's my completed page I've got my girls on here with movable arms and legs and on the pillow I did the word slumber party I put the potato chips nail polish popcorn and soda all on the sleeping bags on the floor there's a television on the wall playing 13 going on 30 she's got some braids um looks like that's all that i added was just some braids and and my last step is to take a charcoal pencil this is a general's charcoal pencil and a paintbrush that i have cut the tip off of and made a little scrubber out of and i am going around the edges so i'm going around the edge of this um the beanbag chair and making little shadows under their feet and little shadows under the items on the floor and just uh, putting some charcoal down and then taking my scrubber and blending it out and it's just making some nice cute cast little cast shadows and it just makes it look more dimensional instead of so flat so that is my final step that I like to add hope you like this new paper doll collection for slumber party there's so many options like I showed you can make the outfits very different by changing them up for um, the long pajamas into a shorty pajama set stamping on them using pattern paper mix and match the sleeves and the outfits and just change it up make it your own and use face-ups the face-ups look really cute on this to change up some of the girls this hair is from uh, the hairstyles collection i love the the uh, tied up bows in her hair to make it look like she's got ribbon curlers the french braid girl i just think it's just adorable she's got m m she's got a hairbrush she's got a cupcake she's got a slice of pizza the little slippers have the little fuzzy slippers little bunny slippers so i hope you like this set it was so fun to create and i hope you're enjoying the justine adventures paper dolls and uh that you're playing around with them there is a facebook group you can join and show your paper dolls so show what you're making with these sets and show me what you've done to create something special with it using your mixed media art supplies and making it your own so thanks for stopping by and until next time go make some art make some paper dolls put them in your journal art soothes the heart mm -hmm.